and we are still learning about Omicron, of course, but we still know that symptoms are different from Delta, yet quite similar to the common cold. News 12 New Jersey's Marcy Rubin with more on how to know if your sniffle is a cold or COVID. My analogy for Omicron is, I used it today earlier, was it's like a, a snow squall, <laughs> right? It's, it's kind of just coming really quickly infecting a whole bunch of people really quickly and then it just kind of sort of passes i feel the hope is omicron goes out as quickly as it came in but until then it's causing major disruptions to many holiday plans and bringing up haunting memories of the early pandemic people haven't stood in line in over a year for a COVID test right with omicron info still being gathered dr raj brambot of riverside medical group says the variant is not only more contagious but the incubation period shorter meaning symptoms start faster than with delta and other strains and those symptoms in fully vaccinated people are very similar to a common cold congestion cold like symptoms achiness fatigue tiredness some mild cough the only way to know whether that cough is a cold or covid is to get a test which we all know is easier said than done these days if you have access to testing if you're going to be around a lot of family a lot of friends and you're having symptoms, get tested. Um, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. And if you cannot, just be careful. Like I said, um, be safe um, and just and keep that mask on. Any tests are fine. At this point, any test you can get your hand on, um, a test is better than no test. And the best defense of all, he says, vaccines and boosters, which will help stop the spread and keep any Omicron breakthrough cases mild. Marcy Rubin, News 12, New Jersey. Doctor also reminds that it's flu season as well, and the best defense against that is the flu shot. Of course, there are some questions about its efficacy this year.